Hey guys, welcome back to another beautiful, amazing, whatever you want to call it, video. Today is a live video retreat, day three. What up for today? Ooh, we got the bacon, the egg, the little toast, and then this is this. Bro, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. What? You must not want to look that way. Exactly. You I'll pick it up. I don't know. Oh, I diabetes. He said if he dies, he dies. Watch the story. We just finished having um breakfast. Um, and now we're about to like take our suitcases and stuff belongings downstairs. Ah uh, yeah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today. We're gonna be talking about Ezra. He's always behind the camera. I think it's time for for us to talk about him. I'm in front of the camera. That's beside the point. Anyway, so what do you what did you get from this this retreat? This retreat? Um, yeah. I learned <laughs> I learned that what's it called? The mind is very powerful. It controls pretty much every single thing you do. If you put bad thoughts in your mind, you do bad things. And if you put good thoughts in your mind, you do good things. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. What did you learn this week? I basically learned that in order to actually be pure to God, you have to, like, you can't go back, like, you can't ask for forgiveness and then go back and do the same thing again, because that doesn't really make sense, because you're just going to keep doing the same thing and doing the same thing. Not saying that God is not going to forgive you again, but, like, it's always, like, how much time are you going to keep doing the same thing over and over and ask for forgiveness? Like, you're not growing, you're just going to keep being the same you. What did you learn this week from from you, Richard? Basically, like the mind, the mind, and how much power it has over your like your ability to either stay aligned or to stray away. And even if you might stray away, don't get discouraged because you can still just make up for your mistakes and continue. Just try to get back on track. Amen. Anyways, what did you learn this week from you, Richard? Um, wait, dude, I'm too black. Can you see me? Wagwan, <laughs> <laughs> Regin. Um, what did I learn? I learned that there is strength in our vulnerability with God. When you give everything to Him, when you confess whatever it is that you're dealing with, when you just open up your heart, open up everything to Him, He will just, He'll bless you. You'll have His favor over your life. That's what I learned this week. Amen. You know I was going to come to you. What, what did you learn this week? Like, uh, I learned that it's important to have your mind, body, and soul on unison and to like, not let anything block it. And that's it. Yeah. Even though you're the youth leader, you, I'm pretty sure you learned something this week. What did you learn? When you move out the way, God does his thing. Today, we haven't really been a long day. But right now, we just finished our growth group, you know, connecting as men kind of having a bond and stuff like that i'm not sh what are we doing next josh huh? what are we doing next uh i think we're just we to pray and then we're yeah we about to pray out and then go back home but this week was a really good week i got some good message i'm going to keep in contact with my people here for sure and uh, much other stuff like it was it was a really good weekend like last night ooh, last night that spirit was moving like it's out of nowhere i just felt like praying for people like i would just start praying for people and i know that's the holy spirit just working on me and you know i, I shed some tears because like you know when the, once the holy spirit come in you like you just start you just start going like you just start feeling the spirit you just you just start crying start praising the lord like that's a that's a feeling that i love i love to have that feeling and Last time we had a really good night. Um, I'll just see you guys when we pray out. See you guys in the next prayer. The amazing retreat, he blew my mind. It is our prayer that we're not going back the same. We're going back transformed. We're going back healed. We're going back strengthened. Renewed, restored, revived. Oh, you cannot tell me. You, you may go back home. And the situation be the same. You may go back to school and to work and to your community, and nothing changed. 
But the most important thing is, even though everything else did not change, you changed. You're different. You're the thermostat now. You're not the thermometer anymore. I'm asking the district team, the rest of the district team, Sister Stacy, Brother Lincoln, Brother Gio, if you can join me. Praise God, praise God. Uh, last year it was uh, Sister Stacy, Brother Nicholas, and myself. And uh, God told us to add this young man to the team. And should have never listened to him. <laughs> no, but we, we thank God for Brother Gio. An amazing, amazing young man growing. Growing in Christ, being obedient as God leads him. Um, God has blessed me to, with, with an amazing team. Um, we are a team. Uh, you may hear from me more, but we are one unit. And God has blessed me with an amazing, amazing team. So, Brother Nicholas, thank you. Sister Stacy. Thank you. Brother Gio, thank you. We, we work together, we pray together, we discuss ideas together. And it's not just a one man show, but we are together in everything we do concerning this district. And we mean well. We mean well. Our desire is to have God use us. Amen. But we've also been blessed with an amazing group of youth leaders and young adults that have availed themselves for another year uh, to go through the journey of planning this retreat with us. So Abby, uh, come. Shanice, come. Chris, come. Kim. Everyone come. I am so thankful and proud of them. Amen. Uh, they are amazing. There is not one thing we've asked them to do that they said no, or I'm not doing it. But they comply, they show up, they help us plan. So again, it wasn't just the four of us, but was it nine? All nine of us put together this retreat and I thank God for each and every one of them, amen. They are amazing, they are amazing, they're amazing. And again, we just wanna say thank you so much for availing yourself. Amen. So all the adults that are here, ministers, deacons, youth leaders, chaperones, thank you. Again, it, we couldn't do it without you. Sister Michelle, thank you. Yeah. Brother uh, Dwight, thank yeah. you. Mr. Pudencia, thank you. Mr. Stafford, thank you. Sister Cashel, thank you. Sister Maxine, thank you. Brother Eisen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, please don't let me forget anyone. Bishop. I don't want to get in trouble. I, I, I didn't forget the bishop, don't worry. I just want to make sure. Sister Angie, we thank God for Sister Angie. Everyone else, but thank you so much, leaders, adults, for being here with us, for leading the growth groups, for praying, for fasting with us, for everything that you did, for leading a workshop, for just helping out, just being available to do anything at any time. We thank you so much, and we thank God for pastors that are really concerned and really love young people. Amen. So we thank God for Bishop Walters for being here with us. Specifically, Brother the White and the Sound, Chris and the Sound, for gathering everything. Thank you so much. Cavell, thank you too. Thank you so much. 
You don't have to ask. She just shows up and says, what, what can I do? You need help with the music, you need help with the words. Uh, give me the laptop, I'm doing it. And I thank you so much. We thank you so much for being available. And take an initiative. Uh, to the worship team. Amen. Get in trouble to my fiance. Yeah. I guess I gotta start practicing from now. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much to the entire team: Shanice, Arisha, Eisen, Abby, Shari. Shari as well, thank you so much. You, you helped Melissa lead the team. Last night, you didn't realize, but as the spirit was moving and you guys were weeping and wailing along the floor and, and praising God, they were still playing for over two hours. At one point, I saw Stephen stand up playing. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you so much. Dedicated. Thank you. All the growth group leaders, you were amazing. I heard a wonderful thing about your growth groups. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure God moved throughout the growth groups. Please, leaders, hand that folder to Gio. And youth leaders, before you go back home, before you leave today, make sure you see Brother Gio. The sheets for your respective church will go to you. All right? So, youth leaders, we have a work to do. I know it's been a long weekend, but when we go back, we have some work to do. We want to ensure that the seeds that were planted this weekend, that we continue to push them and pray for them and be with them and then check on them and make sure they're good and how we can continue to get them to the next level. Amen. This isn't it. It's just the beginning. He that has begun a good work in you. Oh my God. He is faithful. Hallelujah. So this is only the beginning. And I encourage you, growth group leaders, if you haven't, exchange numbers, right? Take their numbers, their emails, whatever. When you go back, let it continue. Whether it's on a conference call, you meet up in person, but let it continue. I have the report from last night. Over 42 young people has recommitted or has given their heart to God. Hallelujah. I said over 42 young people. Some of you didn't catch that. It's over 42 souls. Hallelujah. We're added to the kingdom. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. And among that 42, I'm sure some were delivered, yes. some chains were broken, yes. some hearts and minds were healed, yes. some things we were set free from. Yes. So we give God praise. Yes. We give him glory. We give him honor. Somebody just shout hallelujah. 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 All right, guys. Um, right now, we at the church because we already took the the bus all the way from that hotel to the church and now I gotta hop on another train and bus to get back to Jay-Z to get home and I think I'm pretty sure just I'm just gonna end off the vlog here because I don't really got nothing else to say uh this is day three of, of the youth retreat I hope you guys enjoyed the last three youth retreat videos the one two and three um make sure you like subscribe and just share the video with anybody guys Love you guys so much. Make sure, make sure you share the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, guys. That's it. Bye.